Welcome to another edition of the Memorial Day Sean's Entertainment on YouTube.com where I truly don't believe in a, in a day off because right here it's prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Here to give you the latest rumors, news, and headlines even on Memorial Day. We have a chock full episode so let's get right on to it. But before that, I want to salute all the men and women that are fighting and that are out there doing what they do. Keep kicking ass and keep taking names. Huge update as concerns Money in the Bank, the WWE Championship situation, SmackDown, Vince McMahon, and a ton more. Uh, with WWE Payback being this Sunday and the top matches for that show already finalized, there's a lot of talk behind the scenes that the vacated WWE World Heavyweight Championship will be up for grabs at the June 29th Money in the Bank pay-per-view, which would throw a different spin on Money in the Bank because instead of grabbing a briefcase, they would grab a championship belt because... Making that show a must-see event, we could see one Money in the Bank match for the vacated championship and a second Money in the Bank match with the usual Money in the Bank briefcase on the line containing a contract for a future championship. While anything is possible tonight, we've been hearing that the plan is for Brian to drop the belts tonight and take time off to recover and begin his rehab process. And really, that's what's best for business. Yes, Daniel Bryan deserves to be champion, but we don't deserve to be without a world champion. Now, here's the thing. Daniel Bryan will face the winner of whoever the champion is when he comes back. Daniel Bryan will be thrust back into championship contention because right now the rumors are that John Cena won't be in contention for a world championship, and that's all fine and dandy with me because John Cena doesn't need a world championship at this stage of the game. But I do like the fact that they're going to hang the championship above at Money in the Bank and have it be for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship because, once again, it, th it provides a different perspective. It gives something fresh and new meaning to the Money in the Bank match, so I am all for that, and I don't think we need a second Money in the Bank match. You know, a Money in the Bank match is, is really made for a heel. Yes, I know Rob Van Dam won it at ECW, but really, when CM Punk won it that second time, and he cashed it in, and you know, he was in the right place at the right time, and he really uh, showed you what it is to be a heel. And CM Punk took that Money in the Bank win, and, and he took it to heights, the likes of which we haven't seen. And speaking about CM Punk, very major update, very, very, very big news on CM Punk later on in the day. Now, according to the Wrestling Observer, WWE asked if SmackDown will remain on Friday nights. Now that a new deal has been signed with NBC Universal, there was rumors that SmackDown was going to move to Tuesdays. SmackDown was going to be live. Well, it's safe to say that SmackDown will not be changing its current time slot or taping format. And that's a sad state of affairs because SmackDown comes off so much better when it's live, when it's organic, and you don't have all the fans muffled in and, you know, canned in boos and cheers and... It, it's just, it really steals away the momentum from SmackDown. But WWE is going to keep things they, the way they want th they want to. I don't know why they see it as, you know, better. I don't think they, the SmackDown on Friday is better at all. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't change what the WWE wants to keep with. You ain't going to change their minds. You know, it's, it's, it's it wishful thinking that SmackDown goes live Tuesdays. I mean, yeah, I understand SmackDown is taped on Tuesday. It's live for the fans in attendance, but it's not live for the viewing audience. It would just be nice to go on Friday for them to go Tuesday nights as it is, but they just don't want to take that extra gamble, that extra risk. Maybe it's more money. I'm not so sure why the WWE doesn't want to do that, but I don't know. Maybe they don't see a huge difference in ratings, although they should try it. They should at least have a, a trial run to see if the ratings are any different. From just before WrestleMania 30 until now, Vince McMahon has lost around $842 million, uh, uh, million off on paper worth. With around $360 million of that being earlier this month, Vince is still around $700 million. Even though Vince McMahon lost a substantial amount of money, I don't really feel bad because you know what? If I had the kind of money, $700 million, I wouldn't have to worry about a damn thing. But I have to work hard for my money because I am consistent, prolific, and dedicated. I love doing this. I have a passion for wrestling. I have a passion for coming on here. And you know what? I might have to break my back to make $700 million. Most of us will never, ever see a million dollars in our lifetime. Okay, maybe some of you will. But a lot of us certainly won't see $700 million. So Vincent Mann... Although he lost a substantial amount of money, I'm sure he's still not hurting. All right, the guy's not in debt. He isn't behind in his taxes. He isn't behind in his bills. It's not like he's going to lose sleep overnight. It ain't going to happen. So this is the top news and rumors. So what do you think the WWE should do as it concerns the World Heavyweight Championship? What about Daniel Bryan's status? How should the WWE handle this? As you can see, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to discuss. So I want your comments and your opinions on all these matters, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to be up to date. I'm going to be more consistent, prolific, and dedicated as, I, as I've ever been. You know, a lot of people have been telling me I've been slacking and that I haven't been here as much. 
Well, it's Memorial Day weekend. There hasn't been a lot of news, and there hasn't been a lot of rumors, and there hasn't been a lot of headlines. If you don't see a video uploaded from me, that means there is nothing to talk about, and I don't want to come on here and make up a bunch of stuff when there's, when that's not what's really happening. I talk about rumors, news, headlines, and gossip. When there's something to talk about, I will be here, but when there's nothing to talk about, I can't be here, but... In that event, I have the Action Figure Super Show, and I have the WWE 2K14 Gameplay Commentaries. And of course, I'll, bring, I'll be bringing to you the question and answer videos. That will be coming in due time. So your comments, your opinions, thank you for watching. Spread my video and share my video all over the entire internet. Subscribe.